Climate change and nature loss are putting our future and that of all beings on Earth in danger. The governments of many countries have signed major international agreements for decades that should reverse the threat. But deadlines are not met and the planet is getting warmer and more degraded. Why? The main reason is that there is no one-size-fits-all solution. Because, in practice, they don't exist. The main guidelines are usually useful in some contexts and inapplicable in others. So they need to be adapted to local and regional realities. The good news is that, at a regional level, there are sub-national governments, agencies and individuals that have, for decades, also been coming up with the ideas to meet the challenge. They know what science says and have a deep knowledge of the territory and its people. They are exceptionally well placed to test innovative solutions that provide synergies between climate, biodiversity, justice and development challenges and adapt them to the reality of their regions. So, improving their resources and capacities and strengthening their networks and international partnerships is one of the keys to successfully implementing any action. And not only because actions can only be implemented at local level, but also because each territory thus becomes a laboratory of best practices. Aligning the international climate and biodiversity agendas at the territorial level is one of the most powerful ways forward and can help address the planetary crises we all face while building a future in which we can all live in harmony with nature.